talk a little bit about smart apps. Obviously, we've got our box configured, set up, plugged in, and you know, a lot of people, you know, this is a network streaming box. We have to keep that in mind, and a lot of people just don't have the bandwidth we need. Inside smart apps, you're going to find a app called DU Speed, and uh, it's very important that you run that um, and check to see what kind of bandwidth you're actually getting. When you start the app, it does a little scan. Um, it says we're excellent. I'm going to come down in the bottom left here. This is our speed test right here on the bottom left. And when I click on that, it's going to load just like it does on the internet. It's going to be a bandwidth test. And there's a big start button down here. It goes all the way across the bottom. I'm just going to click on start, see what kind of bandwidth we're getting. Now, we're actually hardwired here, so you notice I'm running 100 to 120 megabits, um, and then it drops a little. But of course, our bandwidth tested in at, at 94.3 megabits. Now that's excessive for this box. Obviously, you don't need that kind of bandwidth. But if you're only running on 2 or 3 megabits at your home, um, you might experience some choppiness in your TV shows and videos. It might be like Max Headroom going kick, 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 and we just don't want that. Um, so it's important um, to have a good bandwidth um, on your box. And you know, if you have to hardwire it in, you may have to hardwire it in. But if your router is not putting out a bandwidth of at least 7 to 10 megabits, you're going to experience some difficulty um, in browsing. So you may want to look at getting a dual band router, maybe an AC1200 router, a little bit more expensive, a step up. Um, but of course, you want to make sure you get the bandwidth required. Now I'm going to right click out of this, and we're going to talk about another app on here that uh, we put on here as well for you. And this is called AVG, it's the antivirus program. Obviously, you know, we talked about Google earlier, and if you're browsing the net, you want to have some sort of protection on there, just like a computer. So AVG is an antivirus. It says our last scan was July 16th of 2015. You click on scan now and it's going to go on and it, here's the scan. It takes just a moment or two. These are the apps that it's scanning right here on the bottom and uh, as soon as that's through, boom, just like that, relatively quick. Um, but the important thing here to note is in the upper right hand corner it's called anti-theft. Um, this device, just like your phone, does have GPS built into it. Um, just like, you know, Chevy makes, uh, what is it, OnStar, and car companies make uh, LoJack and sell that. You have an anti-theft device here that you can actually activate um, through the antivirus company. If you click on anti-theft, it's going to ask you to create an account through AVG. Put an email address in, a password, and go ahead and create that account and they will go ahead and you can further go on to their website and you can actually track your device in real time, pull up a map and it will show you right where the GPS location of your box is and quite possibly other valuables that may have been lifted from your home in the event of a robbery. Heaven forbid that happen, but this is an, an important advantage to having one of these zoom boxes. So you always want to look at the advantages and again right click out you notice there's a bunch of other apps here that we're going to talk about in our next video.